race. Hello. Um, don't know if that will work or if you can uh, hear me okay. But we'll give it a try. We're just trying to find a trailer in Hollyhead. It is not in the main yard here, so I will have to go wandering to try and find us somewhere else. Shut up. morning so I thought it would be there in the main yard but obviously not there must be a lot of drop trailers around and they haven't moved to two there now and I am after a 24 hour break just finished a 24 there when to go started at half past one drop them in the main yard over there where you queue for the ferry and whatever but um, if they haven't been collected then they move them out to this yard out here ah 277 I see it right away up and ready to go yes the trailer is attached
fresh beef and um, what else was I going to say? Uh, fresh beef, three drops, and I am taking the train. Um, I haven't been on the train in a while actually. So, uh, that's a bit of a change. At the roundabout, take the second exit. including my break um, and hopefully get across fast enough and get my transit done and whatever and park up and go again tomorrow That could all change. Um, the last couple of transit. Turn left at the traffic light, then enter the roundabout. The last couple of transit nodes I've done. two should I say have both been um, or no not the last two but because I did one to Germany in between which was a transit as well did I do oh no I did that out, out take of the first out exit to A55 sorry I'm talking waffle but um I've done two check loads, transit loads out of here going to check recently and pick them up on Friday morning and continue on North Wales Expressway. Went as far as uh, Cannock to take my break and to get a truck wash on the way and wasted too much time then both times it, it happened the same way both times wasted too much time in Cannock then got down to going around the 25 in London and I didn't get caught in the actual um, extension rebellion blockages or whatever, but I got caught in the aftermath of traffic from them. So, uh, both times I ended up um, stopping in mids or midway services and she 
briefing the next morning, which is a bit of a disaster. So um, I'm not shipping this time. I'm going by train. So I will go down. Hello, uh, just gone midnight there now and um, I've been in the queue for the train since just about 5 past 10 or so um, and I'm only just gone in past the first ticket um, hut or whatever you call it so big delays here which uh, messes up my I was hoping to nearly be across by now but sure what of it but um, I text the planner and he said there's an issue with one of the customers anyway um, one of the customers is actually just a, a distribution company or whatever and uh, I think they can't distribute whatever pallets I have for them or something like that so they don't know whether I'll have to distribute them or whatever which will put on about an extra five drops onto me so um, don't know what way that's gonna go we'll just have to wait and see Yeah, uh, hopefully I'll be across before I start running out of um, spread because uh, we know I started at half one, so half one, half two, half three, half four, another four hours. Hopefully I should get across. Um, yep, just have to wait and see. Um, I was just told to text when I get parked up and they'll see what the plan is. So that's that. Hello, uh, just gone half past four, which is my 15 hour day done, but I am still sitting in a queue in Folkestone, so I will still have to get on the train and get across and park up. So, big infringements on my card, but uh, nothing I can do about it. And 
I don't know what way that is going to fuck up the plans for the um, office, but nothing I can do about it. Uh, as I said, just gone half four there now. I was. I started the queue about five past ten. So. In six and a half hours. Oh dear, oh dear. And of course, if I'd gone, um, we with this load, we said we go. Um, they sent me for the train. Because there's a good chance that it'll be faster. Right, um, yeah, I will talk to you tomorrow at some stage after I've, well, I'll have to get across tonight now or today, whatever you want to call it, and I'll take my break and talk to you tomorrow. <clears throat> um, that was a major uh, balls. Uh, it is just uh, 25 past 9 there now uh, Irish time I am in Calais in all for trucks just after pulling in and parking up um, my trailer is dropped just in front of me um, because I think the plan has changed um, I'm after doing a 20 hour day so printouts were done and I'm now starting a nine hour break so um, I think they're going to try and get another driver to come and take that trailer and the plan at the moment is they'll uh, ship one out to Dunkirk for me for Sweden so um the delay on the train i think this is sunday morning now um obviously saturday night i was there last last night and the fellow was saying that the delay was the aftermath from friday night Apparently some one of the trains um, cut some electric cabling and pulled the whole lot out of the tunnel so they had um, big jobs to sort that out. So I was just caught up in the aftermath of the delay. Um, about a nine hour delay to get the train but obviously I was moving along in queues and stuff like that, so I couldn't get a break. So, um, as I said, I ended up doing a, 50, or a 20 hour spread, which is 5 hours over the legal limit. But, um, when there's nothing you can do, there's nothing you can do. So, um, I got about an hour, an hour and a half snooze at one stage in the queue. Um, but now that I'm stopped, I'm wide awake. And don't know what to do really. Um, if I, I might try and sleep and get some couple hours. 
course um, I'll set an alarm because if I sleep too long I won't sleep tonight and whatever it's it's a disaster when the likes of this happens but um, sure what can we do so uh, if the plan goes as it currently is I will be continuing this um, video with a trip to Sweden so talk to you then hello um, just 11 o'clock there now Sunday night and I am after moving up to Dunkirk um, took my break in uh, Calais and another driver came in and took away that trailer off to do them deliveries um, I was able to get some bit of sleep and get fed shower shave all that kind of stuff give the truck a wipe down whatever and i came up here started um a while ago and came up to dunkirk and the visby is just coming in there now or just docking and there should be a driver on that with a trailer for me to head for Sweden um, I'm swapping with him because they can't um, they can't he needs to be home for the weekend and they can't guarantee that he would be with the Sweden Lord so I'm taking the Sweden Lord and he is he is picking another trailer that's on the boat as well that was being shipped out on the company and he's going to be taking that to I don't know where it is going Belgium or somewhere I think maybe Germany or something I don't know but um, he's taking that and I'm taking his trailer to Sweden so um, that's it the um, this I forgot to show you since we were uh, delayed with the train this parcel is what we got a bottle of water which is fine a pouch of apple juice or whatever and a tin of don't know these things uh, some kind of Mexican salad in a tin there's a different one inside in that but it's a similar idea salad salad Catalan don't think I will be eating them but that's the nourishment we were given for uh, delay, the, uh, the delay with the train um, I think there's about a nine hour delay um, see, when I joined the queue first Saturday night um, the signs were saying a four hour delay which would have meant I would have still got a cross in my time and whatever so at that stage I said there was no point in diverting down to the boat because I would have still been in plenty of time or whatever but um, by the time we got notified that was an even longer delay just too late I was stuck inside in the middle of the queue and whatever so um, 
that was a bit of a balls uh, ended up being a 20 hour day as I said but nothing I can do about that um, I got my 11 hours off today and whatever um, I was hoping this boat would be in a lot earlier I'm here over an hour now what? an hour and 20 minutes and it's only kind of turning around there trying to dock at the moment I thought to be in about an hour ago but what can I do um, as I say I better try and contact him and see what way we'll work this uh, trailer swap and I'll talk to you tomorrow when I'm on route. Thank you. Hello. Um, good day to you. It is quarter past one Irish time. And I'm not long after starting. Um, I went up to Dunkirk last night, got my trailer and came on as far as I just got to the Netherlands border and I parked up at that stage because the uh, tiredness was kicking in again so um, I actually slept very well and got up today fresher than I've got up in a long time um, had a bite to eat and started after I just took the nine hours off and started and I'm about half hour on the road now at this stage heading up for um, Wood Garden Ferry. Uh, not sure exactly how far I'll get tonight, but try and do. I'll um, I'll see. I might get into Denmark. I'll see how it goes. So that is the update so far. Uh, 
um, water is thin, just um, gather it up and bale it or whatever. I don't know whether they take it for um, composting or what, I don't know, but the Irish should just let it sit there and rot.
Last night when I parked up, I went uh, looking up the address and whatever, and instead of going uh, kind of up along the coast, when I come off the boat, I'm going kind of straight in. The place called uh, Bar Barnum, I think. B J A R N U M. Answer. I think the J's are kind of silent, so Barnum, I don't know. But anyway, that's where I'm heading to. So, uh, slightly different, but still, it's still only about an hour into Sweden, so I won't get to see all that much, I'd say. Um, unless my reload is somewhere odd. In one and a half kilometers, take the exit on the right to 13, then take the slip road ahead. It's a, it's an odd kind of a day. It's, it's gray and shitty, but it brightens up nicely in, in patches. See there, the out to the out to the left is fairly grey, but out to the right is bright, nice and bright.
B trains there.
meters. Turn left onto Thunwegen. Something about two seconds. Uh, uh, port eleven to thirteen. Right. Uh, did I see eleven back there? Eleven to thirteen or up here? Is this it? I will go in and find out. Hello! Um, just on the bay with an hour, I was in the right spot. Um, but they sent me around to one of the bays around the back. Uh, just on the bay about an hour there now. And they have just... I just hear them putting in the ramp. Um... I went, when I backed on the bay, I went in and he said um, that they were told it was arriving on the 28th. Today's the 26th. So um, he said he had a few bits to do and he'd um, unload me then that there was no problem or whatever. So. As I said, I've just put the ramp on there now, so hopefully they should be unloading soon enough and see what happens then. Right, so uh, that is the thing we got on the, or I got on the, when I was queuing for the train the other night. I just said I'd try them before I, um rather than just dumping them and it was actually all right this is the other one uh catalan salad that one was a mexican tuna salad um they're actually not i wouldn't go recommending them or anything but they're um I didn't want to just go throwing them out just because. So I said I'd try one. Um, not a bad little snack. Well, not great, but just better than nothing. Hello. Um, just empty there now, and I am going to find somewhere to park up um, I just text the office and I've got no reply yet so I am just going to head towards Helsingborg just taking a guess I'll be going back that direction so uh, they are the two options I was given I think I will take the pink one because the blue one is kind of uh, cross country this is more main road and I'm only going to go to uh, the first um, decent services I guess I find until um, until I get word from the office as to what the plan is next so I'll talk to you then
Okay, just popped on there now. Go to the end night. here too long okay so that is my route uh, 260 kilometers from here start here in Helsingor um, um, or Helsingborg I'm just at the ferry there now cross to Helsingor down Copenhagen and across massive big bridge Dins and up to my destination. Time to board the ferry. to Bregard on, then board the ferry.
board the ferry. be something within 20 minutes. At the end of the street, turn left. So, get parked up and take my break, collection in the morning and I'm shipping out of Esberg, which is a new one. So we'll see how that goes tomorrow. Um, she said it's not shipping till tomorrow night, so there's no panic.
so um, I came a bit of the way across. So that's the wind noise eased off a bit. Um, I forgot to check how long this bridge is. Some repairs going on here. Stop for a blink.
calling it the mainland part of Denmark now um, for my reload. I don't know what I'm reloading, just the name of a company. And apparently I am shipping as for tonight, which is another different route for me. I think that's it to uh, Gimmingham, I think. So, uh, no, but this weather could be a bit uh, bouncy. We'll see how it goes.
to Lanterno again and it's 12 or 11 57 days 12 minutes to here so whatever that equates to in kilometers I don't know what is um, there's a fair link to the bridge Right, so uh, maybe this is not the correct entrance. different factory this way yes because he just came out of there so let him come out Looks like I'll be reversing on um, Esberg Port in uh, Denmark, and looks like I better raise the suspension on the trailer by the look of the ramp. Right, um, that's the suspension risen up. Very steep ramps by the look of it. So, I'll show you that off, right? And, uh, fairly sharp there. So, with this suspension raised, hopefully I should clear it. Here we go. So I think I'm clear at that.
he's losing me here. I have plenty room to get out, which is a good thing. So, that's it. Birmingham, um, just off the boat there now. It At the roundabout, take the third exit to Humber Road. Ten to three. just off the boat there now uh, there was a slight uh, hold up at the gate um, he just had to double check something and then he said after at the roundabout take the second exit to A160 there was something with paperwork but after uh, he just made a phone call and after 2 or 3 minutes he said no it's ok all is clear So I am flat for uh, Hollyhead. About four hours to Hollyhead. So in two and a half kilometers, enter the roundabout. I think I'm shipping tonight, but not exactly sure. Um, the trailer will be shipping tonight, I assume. Right, and I, I think I'm going with it. Um, and hopefully, I might get uh, parked up tomorrow if I get parked. I need a 24 to start at half past one and tomorrow. And about, take the second exit. So if. Um, get back to Virginia for then I will be going home because I have a week off booked but I actually only booked Wednesday to Wednesday but um, I said to them I, if they can get me back for before my 24 starts I would take the extra few days Make it ten days instead of seven, which would be nice. So that's the plan. Um, in Hollyhead there now I um, I'm checked in 
and tickets got and whatever just in the lanes I am um, it's what just about nine o'clock there now and I'm not shipping till 20 to 3 in the morning so uh, ship in finish off my break and um, I should be finishing up then I've uh, I have a few days left off and or a few days booked off well I've a week booked off I did book for next week start well starting Wednesday today is uh, well Thursday but um, do a 24 hour break the tomorrow at lunchtime um, I didn't think I'd be in on time uh, back from Sweden on time so I hadn't arranged but seeing as I am I'm going to take the extra two or three days off because there's no point in going home for 24 and coming back for two two days two or three days and back home again so uh, that's the plan um, Sorry about this video a bit bitty and whatever, even though all my videos are a bit bitty and whatever, but um, I tried to do, I extend, I did this one from Hollyhead to Hollyhead via what, 2755.7 kilometers. And for those of you that are interested, that worked out at 9.4 miles per gallon. So um, that wasn't too bad, even though, to be fair, I was light both ways. But still not too bad. Anyway, um, as I said, I went from Hollyhead to Hollyhead. Um, I must start planning my videos better in future because I find I ha I'd have a load of clips for the first couple of days and then I'd have to be trying to spread them out after that because the video had begun way too long or whatever and it's just too, too messy to be trying to edit it and the things I'm saying I find I'm repeating myself because I forgot what I said in the last clip and stuff like that so um, I will try and do better when I come back next time but uh, any of you who have watched to this point thanks very much um, hope you enjoy the video and um what else is it gonna say? Yeah, hope you enjoyed it and um I, I what I will do actually while I am while I'm waiting in the queue here for the night, I might edit it and upload it straight away. So you will have a video in the next hour or two probably, hopefully, if the signal is good enough to upload. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it and I'm going to enjoy my few days off and I will talk to you in the next one. See you then, good luck, bye.